Hey everyone, on today's IGL podcast, we're here with our new buddies and we're going to talk about our gaming lives, only at Hollywood Redux. Hi, I'm AJ. It, there's a That's, thing. We do have to do that. Do yeah. Can I tell them who I am now? No, oh, roll the credits. Can I? But Hi, I'm AJ. Kyle. I'm Kyle. I'm AJ. Hey everyone, welcome back to the IGL Podcast. I'm your trusty host, Justin Gentile, and today I have brought along a couple of fine friends, and I do mean fine, in the attractive sense. Oh, hey boy, now. so kind. Ooh, come on. Come on. Boy. Well, you guys are blushing. Do you want to give it a second before? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Why don't you go and introduce <laughs> yourselves the movie first. to our lovely home audience. Hello, lovely home audience. Like, wow, that was so bad. Oh take, my gosh. Take two. Take two. Oh, hey, it's okay. Oh, take two. It's fine. Okay. Things went so well in rehearsal. <laughs> Sorry. Now, for for Sorry. this one, AJ, you're going to want to introduce yourself to the audience. Here we go. On three. One, two, three. Hi, guys. I'm AJ. Oh, nice. All right, great. Just, that's the whole thing? That's your that, whole name. What, do, what else You're like, I hi, I'm Prince. Like, that's, the whole, that's the whole name. And you should know who I am. It's actually a symbol if you write it down. <laughs> AJ is <laughs> just a symbol. Right. Uh, my name is Kyle Duncan Graham. I'll take the extra name that she didn't uh, put down. I have three names. They're all first names. It's, it's all first names. Awful. It's pretty easy for you guys. Yeah. Uh, but we wanted to bring him into the fold. We brought him into the lovely Hollywood Redux I studio. I here. This place is great. So yes. great. As you can see, we've added new decorations, new people. We want to bring it home to you guys. So, uh, you know, we're going to talk about our gaming lives. We just wanted to start uh, oh, soft boy. and easy today. Oh, gee, no pressure. Ugh, my gaming life. No. I feel like I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting I'm not... flashbacks of, like, playing double dribble. And, yeah. Like, See, I and, didn't want uh, you to think. I'm not talking about like your Tinder gaming life. I'm talking about your I, video gaming. I, that's a life. that's for another podcast. We have another podcast. It's Pocaho. Pocaho. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Sorry. Come to you soon. I, I I totally ripped off your joke. That's okay. I apologize. That's an AJ original. But you gave me credit, so it's cool. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, it's just because we've been playing a lot of Pokemon Go. I or, did. I did a little bit. I played a little Pokemon. Didn't you guys play Pokemon Go? We uh, we were complaining about Pokemon Go in one of our last episodes. Yeah, well, I know, I know. They but like, added uh, a buddy now to Pokemon Go, so at least buddy? you can feel like you're... Yeah, like, when you like, play Pokemon Go, you can walk around with your friend now, and you, you can also get candy and, like, upgrade your Pokemon. Oh, because, you're, because it's a you're social game, because you're actually traveling. With, okay, here's a... Honestly, I stopped playing two weeks after it released. Yeah. And I knew it would you be a problem. You and a hundred million other people. Yeah, I know. Well, I mean... <sighs> I knew I knew that that would be a problem, and I knew that Niantic wouldn't be able to keep up with what like that. There's no way that thing metastasized so massively. There's no way they were going to be able to keep up with like the server. The servers kept crashing and all this stuff. I was like, you know what? I'm level eleven. I'm done. Yeah. I'm done. You can with come this. back to it if there's maybe some kind of event. Or I something guess. Like that. But like, what's going to be the thing that's going to bring me back? Like, you know what brings me back? Extremely casual brunch. I'm sitting with my girlfriend. We need something and to do. And you need a focus stop. And it's like, oh, I don't want to have to like talk about our day or anything. You're like, I want to play stop Pokemon this together, babe. That's what yeah. you tell her. Uh, I've been, so we've been doing that. Uh, I've been playing the Battlefield One beta. I don't know if you guys are first oh, person shooter I haven't fans. Had, I haven't I'm had not gonna lie, I have to not touched Pokemon Go, so I feel like I'm just watching you guys like a tennis match. You didn't do like, that? Huh? No. Yeah, how did you? So Why you're not? actually. This is actually better. We've probably interviewed someone who <laughs> never played Pokemon. I so. played it on my Game Boy. I was obsessed with it, and yeah. I my, my phone's broken sun. right now, so I haven't been able to like jump on that trend. I can't use my data, and that's what it's all about. Oh. And so, like, I can't even download it. You would play Pokemon Go. I would. This is a prohibitive issue for it's you. A, yeah. Well, it sounds you, like a cell carrier. If you have that it is. DS, I won't drop the DS <laughs> XL, you got Pokemon uh -huh. Sun and Moon coming out. I don't know if you're excited about that. Uh, I, haven't I haven't even heard about it. I just haven't even been like keeping up with it because it's okay. You know, it's okay. We have uh, Battlefield One is something I've been playing. Uh, I wish I was playing a little bit more uh, newer things, but we had that Atari that recently came in the mail. And there's nothing uh, more fun I than really trying to figure wanna... out what the heck's going on. I think we spent yeah. probably about five hours just trying to figure out how to plug it into the television. Yes. That's been that's been its own reward. It that's is been its own reward. There's screwdrivers involved. There's the the amount of trust that they actually like put in a consumer at that time was like amazing. Unbelievable. Like you needed a soldering iron to put it on the back of your television. And like it's your like, dad has a soldering iron. Go into the garage and get it. Ask your pop. You just, uh, yeah, you got to connect awful. the cables. It, it basically looks like you broke your adapter and you just, like, put the cables inside the plug or all something. You is, all you need is lead solder. They sell it in Mexico. It makes you really sick when you, <laughs> sick when you smell the fumes. Ah, uh, damn. Yeah, it's, it's um... Okay. That. And the great thing about the games, too, are that, you know, once you figure out one of the games, they're all very similar. Yeah, no, <laughs> because they're it's kind of like balls. They're, and they're then, all centipede. Yeah. Every game is centipede. It's get one thing to this point here, so... It, it's pretty exciting. I guess that makes me kind of a dinosaur because I do kind of still like like games like that. Yeah. I'm like, I want to see the high score kind of rack up. It means nothing. 
the high score is just it's, it's a cre it's a creativity thing I think too like kids just had more creativity back then so when you could see a little block you're like that is an alien monster not three pixels right yeah, yeah. it it's, worked uh, to me it works you don't it have the Atari works. at home. Uh, we Did actually you? do have one. My dad oh. has one <laughs> from do? when he was, oh. yeah, younger. Is this and part of is this part of your gaming history? Are we getting into your gaming? No, life? no. It actually has been sitting in the the shed for like thirty we years. Need it. We <laughs> so need it's better. untouched. We need to play that. And thing. I didn't Maybe. know you guys had Atari. Am I, what am I doing here? I don't know. <laughs> the ants, no, no, no. You're you're the you're bouncing us back and forth right now. All this right, is wonderful. Uh, and we're gonna get into what you're doing here. Your passions. Your your gaming expertise. gaming expertise. What do you? What's your favorite thing to play? <laughs> um, let's see. Okay, I was raised on a Sega. Yeah, yeah. So that yes. so we're yes, all I feel Sega like kids. Really I am like, are we? I don't feel like I went into any people who ever raved about Seriously? their Sega. Yeah, I loved mine. Yes. But I always felt like I was a kid who was like, "Hey, I got this movie," and they're like, "Hey, let's all watch it." And I'm like, "On Betamax." Like, <laughs> I never like relate with. Anybody. There's something funky and cooler about Sega games, in my opinion. Maybe it's like Toe Jam and Earl. And like oh, those. No, no, no. Yeah. Stop just, it. Stop which, it. by the way, announced a new Toe Jam and Earl. This it's coming out 2017. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. No, I'll it's it coming out 2017. I'll show I have you the been trailer later. Fine. People about that game, like if they have played it for years. <laughs> you thought it was a fever dream. Nobody. Yeah, nobody it has. It looks like it. <laughs> I it mean, looks like, it's super it looks trippy, like but... <laughs> Polly Shore went to try to pitch something. Like, hey guys, I got an idea for <laughs> you. Like, well, Encino Man was a hit. I guess we could do this shit. I don't know. Well, it's, it's awful. And I was a fan, obviously, of the second Panic on Funkatron. Which I is never, the best subtitle? Panic on Funkatron Two is a side scroll. Battlefield Two, Panic on Funkatron. That's the game I want to play. Half Life Three, Panic it's, on Funkatron. Things just don't get funkier than that, and that I think. But that was kind of like that. Don't get funkier than that. They don't get funkier than Planet. I've only been on this show for a minute, but go to hell. Like you can go to hell, okay? No, but that was something about Sega Genesis too, like the game, like. Just Vector Man or Booger That's Man. That's a great game. But something about them <laughs> was a little bit. Even they were Pac-Man. Oh, well, Vector Man. Man. Booger Man. Listen, <laughs> Sega Man. The 90s were a very patriarchal Sonic time. Man. It's a different time. It's it, very different. We're not saying that was the right thing. I'm just saying that that was Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, was that's a guy. Still, that's still, but like, can anyone mention like one other piece of like proprietary material that they released that was like Sonic the Sega? Hedgehog? For, for I mean, Sega? Uh, yeah. Well, like, no. it's hard. Like, a lot of it was published was by Sega, but yeah, a lot of it right? wasn't developed by Sega. Like, Rystar, I think, is one of those uh, Sega kind of, like, known classic greatest hits games. It's not exactly... But it wasn't developed by Sega. No, I mean, no. But, like, that's the thing. Like, Nintendo has more than you can shake a stick at. Yeah. And, like, even, like, if you you can look at Sony, you can be like, ah, oh, Crash Bandicoot or, like, Kratos. Well, but, that like, was... But that's just yeah. a, a testament to marketing. Because in, back yeah. in the day, they really had to develop those games from the in-house. I mean, Nintendo was a was a card company. It was a trading card. Right. They used to make their little uh, casino games and things like that in the seventies, like little handheld card games. That's kind of what the Game and Watch came out of, and that's kind right. of what their you know entertainment games came out of. But it used to be like games of chance and gambling games and stuff like that. So I think they always had the mentality that we have to develop our own forms of entertainment. And the rest of them, I think, were de were, were software developers and publishers more than they were actual game but don't developers. You think if you're Let me take my nerd like hat that, off. If you're going to do something like that and come from a world of being a software developer, like all you have are ideas then. Why the hell didn't you come up with like we got Sonic and like they're like they're in the they're in the room in Japan like like oh what the hell else can we come up with they're like oh how about a fox with two tails we're gonna name tails I gotta get the fuck out of here we gotta go <laughs> like that's that's you set the expectations awful. too high for yourself too is at a certain point you make Sonic and then you're like well shit what's gonna come after Sonic right Vector Man technically was was one of their creations yeah I mean what a kid chameleon yeah like, that was a little bit before Streets of Rage Golden Axe were technically I think yeah, there Altered Beast but like or no Altered Beast yeah, name, that was definitely like a, a Sega. character. Like this thing, like Nintendo uh, was great at making characters. Yeah. Well, once it gets back, once it gets back to Dreamcast, you had like the Samba de Amigo guy or the Space Channel Five girl, right. like here. No? And I'm, a, I'm a guy, and I even played, yep. I even played a little at Dreamcast and all of it, like Res and games like that, or like fun. And I'm like, mm. like none, like the Sega, well, can... and we all talked about all of us right now. We were just like, we're Sega kids, and like none of us can, like. Uh, Doctor Robotnik. Well, a lot, of, a lot of our favorite games to play on Sega, I'm sure, which, which I'm sure was for Mortal you guys. Mortal Kombat with blood. Well, yeah, yes. Mortal Kombat with blood, sure, but Aladdin. That was oh my a God. lot of license. Aladdin. See, I could just that drop these. That was probably my first Sega game. That was the That was your first game. Yep. I could oh, still remember the level select code. Was it was like A A B B A B 
A-A-B-B-A-B-A. Is that it? A-A-B-B-A. Oh my A-A-B-B-A. god, that's amazing. That's what it was. That's, what, that's, yeah. that's pretty awesome. I gotta say that my favorite, my favorite um, game as a kid, and this is like something I probably shouldn't even admit, but it was My Little Pony. <laughs> and like to this day, my dad quotes it. <laughs> like, he quotes, AJ, the game. He quotes it because whenever you beat a level, is a, brony? a pony would like go around and like the center of the screen and then would flash like one pony and would say, Good job. So like my dad will still be like, Good job. I hey, you never know what, down. guys? You're a <laughs> safe space. Yeah? You could say that here. I like that anytime your dad says, Good job. Job, it's only a reference to the to My, my Little, little Pony. pony. He, really, <laughs> he, he needed My Little Pony in his life so he could learn how to communicate that to his daughter. Taught me so much. No, he's, he's, like, like Barbie he's, got, he's got, he's got, like, he's got one yeah, little yeah. My Little Pony on his nightstand. He's like, I appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for unlocking the thing in me. You taught me everything. Right? Do it and for I her. That's the end of his day. <laughs> that's beautiful. Look, I, Listen, I used to play a lot of... Yeah. I'm a total well, we know your dad's true, a, I'm learning a lot. We know your dad's a brony now. Uh-huh. Yeah, brony. And, totally. You know, we can't edit that out now. That's out there. That's this true. is live. I'm so sorry, there. I'm sorry. Uh, Sega Genesis, I think, naturally led for me to PlayStation 1. Mm-hmm. Didn't, didn't do that. Didn't I do that. It. I watched... Well, my I, friend you, had it. I watched... I, I would always go over her and so, so you I watched a, my, I watched my friends play a lot. Like I never, I never played Resident Evil. You were the original YouTube them. gamer. Yeah. See, I was always I'm wondering here. like why I'm here now. Why is this popular for kids? But like that's something that we used. To we do. would always do. We would just like we and I grew up in I grew up in a cold rainy climate. So like we would just watch each other <laughs> play video games. Like and we did that with everything. Mm-hmm. Like. We cold, ready climate. Where are you from? Maybe I am some... from I am from uh, Orcas Island, Washington. It's hey, eighty five miles north of Seattle, in the middle <laughs> yeah. of the. We got WA we represent. Got, we got one. We got one guy who knows what I'm talking There's about. There's a large studio audience back oh, there. They're, they're from a lot there. of different places. A lot of different places. But the loudest man is from the San Juan <laughs> Islands. God bless your life. But uh, no, that's that's what we did. We would just watch each other. I remember watching more people play. Final Fantasy VII than me actually getting to play it, and to this day, it's my favorite video game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, I mean, like, was it a skill thing? Do you think they just played it better, and you like to watch somebody? No, like, it was who just it was just cool to it was just cool to backseat drive and be like, no, 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 do that, do that, do that instead. Yeah. That was that's something kind of we did we, we did with the VR, mm-hmm. which Absolutely. is like one person is playing, but then you got backseat maybe gamers too, who are kind of to suggesting to you, hey, throw that over there. Don't forget you have this. Man, maybe if you listen to me a little more, maybe you'd have had more success in the VR game. I think I was very successful. If you watch our VR play through a fantastic contraption i think i was very successful yeah well if you watch it you'll also hear me giving great advice and him ignoring it yeah but you know that's that's the great thing about collaboration and i think tesla said no i'm kidding uh <laughs> that's it i feel like it's getting terrible. a little heated here i'm glad I'm it's a like little heated so I we feel like, I'm sweating. <laughs> like a barrier look like i'm sweating uh, yeah, we went through stuff. trying times in the PlayStation <laughs> years, apparently. We went through some trying times there. You had a friend also. You were just watching your friend play? No, we go over. I'd play, uh, I'd play Spyro. I think that was actually... Spyro, Spyro and Monsters, Inc. were nice. the only two games that she had. Wait, Spyro and, and what? Like, Monsters, Inc. Monster, the only oh, two games the original Monsters, 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 Inc. for the yeah. PlayStation? Yeah. I never played that. Yeah, no. Was it... I, uh, well, I mean, I used to play like the Toy Stories and all that. Disney yeah. games, growing up, were probably the only licensed games that actually stood out, I think, to, you know... I don't remember playing... Uh, I can't even think of a crappy movie that I would think of otherwise. I but mean, I never played the Over the Hedge game, you know. I never <laughs> played the. But there's still Disney games that like there was a little bit of quality and value thing, in that Disney game. The, uh, the PS2 the super, years? Did you have PS2? Uh, uh, I had Star PS2. Wars. That was probably PS2. what I'm like most. A good game. Super Star Wars is a good like. Which hey. Disney, Star Wars, Illuminati? Right, here Did we are. Did they know that? We all that? got wrapped up. We what? all got wrapped up in it. I think we're all going to... Oh, oh, no. my God. <laughs> oh, my God. We got a Jay-Z fan. The, uh, <laughs> it's The Rock. We've Holla. <laughs> gone, we've gone, I think, through like just a portion, a fraction of our gaming history. Only a bit. But that's actually going to wrap it up, I think, okay. for today's yeah. episode. So, uh, I mean, we've, gonna, got a, we've got a lifetime to learn, guys. We've got, we've got a, a lifetime lot to, learn. to learn. And I want a copy of that. Do you have secrets? Can you go back? Money. I want that game. I'll hook now. you up, man. You I'll, uh, I'll make a call on my dad. Yeah. So many things uh-huh. I would change. No, I don't want to take it from him. I feel like that's a protected thing that okay. he has right, now. Right, right. Are you guys talking about her dad stuff? I think yeah, so. Why, not? No. why aren't you, Justin? Get on board. Dude, I've been thinking about her dad this whole time. Well, I've been thinking about the Illuminati. <laughs> Awful. Your dad. All right, listen. I've on another time, part of we're, the Illuminati. we're giving away too many secrets right Sick. now. <laughs> this is crazy. For everyone at Hollywood Redux, I am Justin Gento. You could find me at Twitter. At Twitter. At, you can find at, at Twitter. Justin underscore Gentile. Boom. That's it. Anyone else? Do you have Twitters? You got Twitter yeah, stuff? Yeah. I'm AJ Demers, and you can find me at J 89 Ooh. Ooh. And I'm Kyle Duncan Graham, and you can find me at K Duncan G. 
There were not, yeah, you couldn't fit that many names. In no, it's too many profile. names. It's too many names. They were like, you know what? You can't be on Twitter. Well, <laughs> thank you guys. I want to. I want to put out bad jokes just like everyone else. <laughs> That's and I do. so important uh, so for everyone at Hollywood Redux. I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out K-Files, Writer's Room. Subscribe. It's HR VR month. It's Hollywood VR month. So if you want right. to see any gameplay videos, if you want to show us something, tweet at me. Tweet at any of these guys. Annoy them. Wake them up in the middle of the night. Send them a message. Uh, we want to thank you guys for watching. Check out our video. I don't mean to alarm you, Kyle, but what? there is a video right behind your head. Oh my god! god. Right there. Oh Jesus! Uh, for everyone in Hollywood Redux, check it out right over there. Thanks You're for watching. Bye. <laughs> Can somebody give me